All right, coaches, we're going to go through our throwing program right now. I got Tal Errol with me. He's going to help us demonstrate. Tal is, how old are you, Tal? Tal's 17 years old. He's a product of Israel baseball. He's been at this for a long time. All the stuff that we're about to do right now, Tal and I are going to be pretty good at. We've done it before, but this is stuff that applies to all ages. This throwing program is something that little kids can do. Tal's going to be laughing this whole time. Don't, don't worry about him. You guys stay focused out there in YouTube land, okay? All right, so the, this is going to be the most important thing that you guys do with your teams every week that you go out on the field. It gives the kids a chance to handle the baseball, catch the ball, throw the ball. If you can't play catch, you can't play baseball. So this is the introduction to the entire game for them, just handling the ball and throwing it. First thing we need to teach the kids is grip. And the first drill that we're going to do has to do with grip, getting good rotation on the ball, and finding your release point. Okay, this is a four seam grip. It's the straightest, fastest way you can throw a baseball. If you take the seams at their widest point, it's like a C shape, you hold your fingers across the seams right there. Okay, this is a four seam grip, and we need to get kids using this four seam grip in this very first step of our throwing program. All right, so all we're gonna have them do is get a four seam grip, hold their hand out here to their release point, and just snap their wrist straight down and try and get good rotation on the ball. They need to actually learn these words, these catchphrases that we use with them. Four seam grip, release point, all that stuff. So Tal and I are just gonna demonstrate a couple times right now what this drill looks like, okay? So I get my hand out to my release point, I just snap my wrist down through my release point, I try and generate good backspin on the ball, okay? For younger kids, you may wanna do this barehanded. Okay, a variation of this drill is teaching them also a two-hand target. Have them stand with their thumbs together, just like this, okay? So it's thumbs together, and it teaches them a two-hand target. It teaches them to start handling the ball with two hands. Thumbs together, receive, release point. Thumbs together, receive, release point, okay? The next step, we're going to back them up a little bit. We're going to have them stay facing one another. Okay, they're gonna have a nice wide base right here. It's called chest to chest. They're facing one another, and all they're gonna do is coil their shoulders so that their shoulders are on line with their target, and then they're gonna get their arm through. Okay, so it's coil, release point. Okay, there's something called hip to shoulder separation that you need to have when you throw a baseball or when you swing a baseball bat. And what I'm doing is I'm creating separation from what my hips are doing and what my shoulders are doing. I'm creating torque, and that's getting my arm through to my release point, okay? Next thing we're gonna have them do is get turned sideways, okay? They're gonna be turned sideways. Same thing, nice wide base. Anytime you throw a baseball or swing a baseball bat, you're turned sideways, okay? You have a front side and a back side. Your front side is directional. Whichever direction your front side is going, that's where the baseball is gonna go. Your back side is for power. Okay, so we're gonna have them turn sideways here so their directional side is online with their target. A lot of the problems that young players have with throwing come from their directional side is off. So this gives them a chance to make sure that their line is good where they're throwing the baseball. They're just gonna be hands together, step, and throw. Hands together, step, and throw. There's lots of drills that we're gonna go over for pitching that correlate to good throwing also, and you guys can incorporate some of those pitching drills into your throwing program if you want to. Next thing we're gonna do, as far as throwing goes, we're gonna play quick catch. We're gonna work on catching the ball and getting rid of it as quickly as we can. We're keeping our feet moving, and we're handling the ball with two hands. We're working on getting the ball from our glove hand to our throwing hand as quickly as we can, and we're just catching it and get, getting rid of it. Moving towards the baseball. When you talk about receiving to the kids, you need to have them using two hands and moving towards the baseball, taking a little jab step to the ball when they catch it. You never want to move away from the baseball, whether it's a thrown ball, batted ball, or a pitched ball. You want to be moving, anytime the ball is moving towards you, you're moving towards the ball. And the last thing we're going to do, we're not going to do it here because you won't be able to hear me, but you're going to back them up all the way and they're going to air it out. They're going to play long toss. They're going to throw the ball as far as they can. That stuff should take between five and 10 minutes. Gives them a good chance to handle the ball and reinforces a bunch of throwing fundamentals that we want from them.